Back in the 1970s, a group of fishermen from Florida decided to organize a campaign to dump around 2 million tires into the Atlantic Ocean right outside the coast of Fort Lauderdale. Their goal was to try and create an artificial coral reef, using the tires as a foundation for more coral to grow on. More coral would then mean more habitats for fish and other sea life, and that would be good for the ocean. It really did seem like a good plan back then, but things didn't quite go the way people thought they would. You see, the tires were dropped in large bundles of steel and rope to make sure they would always stay in one place for the coral to actually grow. Unfortunately, the ocean quickly corroded both of these materials. And as hurricanes and storms continued to come through the area, the tires were pushed everywhere, not only ruining any new coral growth, but also squashing and killing tons of old and natural coral. Since no new organisms could actually grow where these tires were, people involved soon realized they had to now remove all 2 million of these tires, but this time one by one. It was estimated to cost so much that actual tire removal wasn't even started until decades later in 2001. As of 2019, only 250,000 tires have been removed, and there are still people working on it to this day.